I do have some really good news, something that's really touched uh, me in a personal way. My aunt, my favorite aunt in the world, she's like a second mom to me, just found out that she's recently breast cancer free. She's a breast cancer survivor. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a survivor, yeah. This thing, she's always a very optimistic, positive person, which is one of the traits that I like about it, that I love about it, right? But she said something that kind of messed me up one time. She said something that really confused me. She goes, Chuck, I know that no matter what, no matter what happens, I'm gonna be okay. Do you know why? I was like, why? She goes, because I am an American. I was like, I'm sorry, did your breast fight in Vietnam? Like, what do we? Don't know what that means. <laughs> she goes, well, we raise billions of dollars in breast cancer research in this country. Somebody right now, as we speak, is running a marathon for me. America loves boobies. <laughs> Which is true, right? America does love boobies in this country. We cherish them. This is how I know. Uh, this is how I know we cherish uh, breasts in this country. Uh, because my uncle is a survivor of testicular cancer. See, nobody cares. See what just happened? No one cared. I mentioned breasts, there was a parade that came through here. Plus, my aunt has so many celebrities to look up to for celebrity inspiration, for like that inspiring thing. Like she had Wanda Sykes, Cheryl Crow, Sharon Osbourne. Do you know who my uncle had to look up to for celebrity inspiration? Lance Armstrong. <laughs> and comedian Tom Green. And one of those guys is a disgrace to his country and his artistry and embarrassment to his entire nation. And the other guy is Lance freaking Armstrong. Do you understand? <laughs> Hey, there's way more funny where that came from. Hit subscribe and we'll let you know when we post the good stuff. You like good stuff, right?